need to give them a helping hand through legislation or other means, which is which I understand from from maybe a Western perspective or maybe a North perspective, as has been suggested. But from a Southern perspective, maybe, or from a developing country perspective, here's here's how that translation sounds to people in 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 state in, in state legislatures and in the government. Uh, oh, I see. So you want to maintain someone's privacy? Okay. So there's harm that is going to take place if we don't do this. Let's legislate. Ooh, let's also legislate about morality and obscenity. Let's also legislate uh, and bring in regulation if a minister's views are put on and he's disrespected. And I'll give you an example of something that happened. Some pictures were put up about a minister and his family. And that website was blocked by my government. Ad hoc, without process, because that was the rights of privacy of the minister. So sometimes, you know, it gets lost in translation. We have to be sensitive about this European debate, American debate, Northern debate about security versus privacy. This is not a debate that translates well in the developing countries, but it gets misunderstood, gets misused, and it actually impacts our freedom of expression. It impacts our freedoms and what rights, and, and look at what actually the internet has done. If we were sitting here debating these things when the internet was about to be launched, maybe my country would not have even had the internet if the government was maybe sitting at the seat or maybe some sides of, oh, this is really bad, you get pornography from here. We're just not going to let it happen.